I want to make sure that everybody's in the house, sending out the black signal, letting you know what's going down. We are online building right now. As y'all see, I'm dressed and prepped, ready to go. About to hit this door to get out here to get things ready for this drum circle. We are streaming on four cylinders right now. I need to see what's going wrong. All right, let's go and, and do a little bit of our, let's do some of our due diligence. Let's do some research and find out what's going on. Family, I found out some incredible stuff that I can do last night. And man, oh man, oh man, I can't wait to share some of the stuff. Some of the things that's going to be going down here in the community now. Family, those that want to help Giami Journey, I don't see my glass up. I need to see my glass. I, is my glass up? Can somebody out there let me know if my glass is up? Because I don't know what's going on. I, you know, I feel naked without my glass next to me, right? Now, that's what's called, uh, in a sense, a tip jar, right? Check it out. So you go to um, gnjmedia.live. You can watch it on there. There's also a donate button over there where you could go on and contribute to Giami Journey as well. Man, oh man, oh man. Now, also, if you look at uh, on the timeline, I got the new Daily Toaster um, um, uh, shirt. I'm trying to put together a Daily Toaster shirt, and we're going to see how that's going to work out. You know, um... You know, get the daily talk. You know, I like, I, you know, got, we about to get the merchandise popping off. You know what I'm saying? Cause my, my, my daughters, my daughters demand it. My daughters expect nothing less. I see there's a big black box in front of me and Kaumba is cut off. It's not cut off on my screen, but it's cut off on your screen. Um, let's see if we can fix that. I'm going to give it a couple of seconds to see if it, uh, if it changes. Let me know if the thing is still up in front of my face in a second. All right. Um, it was something that I need to put down below. Hmm. All right. We'll see. All right. It don't show that I'm streaming anywhere. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? Okay, I'm refreshing. I'm trying to get everything up. All right, cool. So, hey, where I go? I'm blocked out. Look at that. Look at that. All right. So, we got to fix this. But the glass is up in one of the videos. So, I would have to hold my hand up like that to be holding the glass. So, I'm going to change the orientation of the screen so that we can get it right. You know, we like to have it right on the journey. Let's go on and fix stuff. Before we get started, we got to make sure everything is, is correct. Followers go. Uh-huh. We need to change. Hitting on preview. We want to change that. We're going to have to lift that up just a little bit. I want to be able to see that shit. Y'all got to excuse me. I got to pick it up. All right. Tip jar is already visible, so we'll leave that alone. Kaumba need to come over just a little bit. See, the the, the, the letters are hard. They don't want to move. They're hard. All right, cool. Right there across my face. All right, we've got the sponsor's banner. We need to make that visible. Uh-huh, showing. It should be showing now. Let's see. All right. Let me check the. Right, let's do it like that, boom. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out all this shit, but we'll get it. Uh, we'll get it together. I promise. All in a good time. All in good time, my friends. All right, so. All right, that's a little bit better. Kumba's still a little bit too high. Yeah. I'm going to have to, I have to fix it one more time. All right. 
let's go to my Streamlabs and um, well my Streamlabs won't do nothing I'm gonna leave that alone but um, we are gonna go to G and J media live dot live because I want to see how it looks on there as well I know I'm burning up all this all this streaming that I'm doing I'm burning up my kids ain't gonna have no data they're gonna be mad as hell like dad you taking all the data well, I pay for all the data shit we pay for all the data Stop all that crying. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's my mom calling. Uh, cause uh, somebody need to let her know I'm doing my show. Uh, tip jar right there. Let's see. Now it might be a little bit crowded. We got a lot of stuff going on. Let's see how that works. Hopefully that works. Ooh, that worked. It looked a little bit better. I can see it now. Um... Streamlabs, if I go down and turn off the volume, well, we ain't going to do all that. Uh, we got the chat up. Oh, my God. Oh, what's up? What's up, Steven? What's going on? Since we throwing out government names. How y'all doing? How you doing out there? All right, let's go and get this started. I got to get, get, get it pumping real quick. Um, I only got a little bit of time because I got to be over <clears throat> at the school for the setup we are doing today. We are having the Celebrating the Comedic New Year. Shouts out to Miss Cynthia Johnson. I see you out there as well. Um, I'm going to have to refresh the screen. Oh, there you go. Still off. It's still off. Can y'all can y'all see that box up there? How the box get all the way up there? God damn. All right, let me. This is a this is a smaller screen, so I have to pull it all the way down like that. Almost, it's almost like it's in the middle of the screen. Damn. Let's try it now. All right. All right, cool. Damn, I just seen the thumbs up come up. Can you see the sponsors now? Let's try it now. <clears throat> That's a little bit better. But it's still too damn high. Yeah. I'm working on it, family. I'm going to perfect it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to know exactly where to put everything real soon. Don't worry about it. We're going to get it together. That's why we're here. We work together. We learn together. We build together. Right? So... Now, I'm going to have to change the orientation of my camera because I want to make sure I can hold the glass. But here we go. So, family, first off, I want to welcome you into the congregation of the mighty, the home of the stubborn minority, the place where your hustle builds muscle. This is Giami Journey Media. <coughs> Giami Journey Media. Anime! Man, good help is hard to find nowadays, man. They they think I, because I be getting caught up in, in these new toys that they could just start slipping, man. I'm, I might need to find me a new mythic animal because this is getting ridiculous. Let me go plug up my mics so we can make sure we get some, uh, some better sound for y'all. Now... Now the damn thing is too low. So I'm going to have to move that up just a little bit. It's too low. Kumba all right across my face. I'm just like crowded out. Y'all know it's Kumba, so I can take Kumba down, right? I can take Kumba down. So let's go take Kumba down. We're going to move the sponsor banner up just a little bit. That should be cool. I'm going to move you over. Boom, like that. Make you a little bit smaller. There we go. Boom. Just like that. And. Bow. Let's get it. Giami Journey. 
This is the Heart of a Simba production. Of course, you know this is a daily toast. How did it get all the way down there? It's almost right on my goddamn cheek. Good God Almighty. I thought I just changed that. I know I just changed that. Somebody at Streamlabs fucking with me. They like, let's just fuck with them a little bit. You know. That's why we got to get young people that's good at this technology. Boom. Let's try that. All right, last one. Better. I like that setup better. Will we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigms? Drink some water. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath and drink some water. Family, take your breath. Drink, 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 drink. Or should we say, breathe, breathe, then drink. Now grab your glass for that water. Get your picture of that water. Lift that picture of that water. Simply pour some water. Drink, 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 drink. Or should we say, raise, toast, then drink? Should have been raising pour. Uh huh. Now move your body and drink some water. Move your body and drink some water. Stretch it out. Come on, fam. Move your body and drink some water. Family, just move your body. Come on now. Stay in shape. Drink, 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 drink. Or should we say, move, move, and drink. Now raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Now raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Now raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Bam! Just raise your glass. Drink, 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 drink. Or should I say, raise, toast, then drink.
drink your water, toast your ancestors. Family, remember, we if we're going to toast our ancestors, we have to stay in shape ourselves. Right? So, um, saying all that, to move on to the news real quick, because we got some stuff we gotta discuss. We got a couple minutes to discuss. Cause it only take it take me. I can, if I'm if I'm driving just a little bit faster, I get to the school on time, right? But I, I got backup. You know what I'm saying? You, we, we got backup. So one of the goals for us right now is to get our tribal members up. You see the you see that right there? We have 49 tribal members. I know we got more than that, right? All you gotta do is to go over to the Giami Journey YouTube page. And press like, and I'll see it, right? You know what I'm saying? Get a nice little celebration popping off, you know what I'm saying? Then also, you could go to gnjmedia.live. There's a donation button over there. Drop some coins in the in, in, in your glass right there. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, it, it costs running. So now, what we got coming up now, since I found out we could do movies... We are going to have a movie night where, you know, I'm going to go on and set up in GIB Journey and put out a, a, a watch, a, a watch party. Going to do a little watch party and we're going to be watching some old ass movies, making commentary and having discussion because I want to see how much stuff has changed from then to now. I just seen the movie. It was only 20 minutes called Rufus Jones for president. And maybe we might, maybe I might sit down and, and, and stream and we could watch that tonight right because i want y'all to see you know what i'm saying because this was a movie with sammy davis jr 1933 rufus jones for president or maybe we might watch heidi ho with cab calloway and shit so we could see some of the stuff that was going on back then that's still going on now right but then also then also talk about how things have changed and in what ways they have changed you know what i'm saying and just have a genuine conversation. This type of shit we trying to do here at Giami Journey, right? Now, today is also Comedic New Year. So I want to make sure that we give that family, that, that our Comedic Cousins, their round of applause. <laughs> so I, I will be at the school all day. Let me tell you a story, man. This is why the language is so important. I'm talking to my son last night, right? I say, okay. He said, well, what's going on tomorrow? I said, what's well, comedic? And I stopped. I said, damn, he ain't going to really know what. I said, comedic new, comedic new year. He, he, like, he looked at me like, what? I said, cat in. He said, oh, our thing. Got out the car. He understood. Right? That language, family, that language is coming, is growing, and it's getting more powerful. Right? The young people are taking ownership of the stuff that we are creating and that we are working on. And it's going to be something that has to be dealt with worldwide once we once we codify it. Right? Now, another thing I want to say is family gonna make sure. That y'all check out the free course. We got the free GNJ um, e-course. That's another one of those territories we got. Dot com. Be sure to check it out. It's free. Shit. You can't beat that. It's free. You know what I'm saying? Who don't like free? You know what I'm saying? So we done did all the work. You know what I'm saying? And some more stuff is coming. Uh, if you want to see the new motto for the shirt, right? Because um, we will have merchandise over at gnjmedia.live. You know, look, we're not playing. We're not playing here at Jeremy Journey. Now, it's one piece of news that I want to cover. The newsletter will be coming out. I just got to work on the back cover. But actually, I got to change both covers. Um, and... Um, so that's going to take a little bit of time because I was up till 1 o'clock last night playing with this uh, Streamlabs shit. This shit is incredible. I mean, it is literally in.
incredible, right? So um, I, I'm learning it and I'm going to perfect it. I mean, because I, I can't wait till I get to the point where I'm going to be streaming articles over here and, and be, be able to still do a live with you and interact with the actual article with what is streaming and have a conversation with you, right? That's the power of the media, right? That's why, you know, Giami Tribe went to Giami Media. We still a tribe, but we understand the power of media. Media, how can I, media share the same roots as medium, what? They like what? Medium in the middle? No. Medium, someone that communicates, right? With other worlds, right? And, and we got to take control of that within our community. So now let's get this toast on. Lines are open 614 556 4535. If you want to call in and have a discussion about something before I leave, 614 556 4535. Damn, I'm paying a lot of money that I, shit, my God, so I got Restreaming, yo, I got, damn, I'm paying a lot of money, I love y'all, good God Almighty, I just be, I be wondering why my wife be mad at me sometimes, be like, shit, do you see, do you, yeah, okay, but you know, when you love something, you you do what you do, right? I'm doing what I do. This is what I do. So I have no problem with it. Um, Let me see. Oh, the news. See, what's live is I could, I could shoot this straight over to my phone, right? F switch my phone around and let you see it directly. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Crazy, crazy. Actually, I could stream from this device to my phone. I'm going to figure out how to do that. All right. Um, all right. So now. Y'all heard during those that, that had opportunity to watch or see some of the highlights of one of the, the debates. Um, I think it was de Blasio was confronted with the fact that he didn't fire the officer that strangled um, Eric Garner. Right. And now there's a big piece because five years later, now they finally have decided that this man don't deserve his job, right? There was no prosecution done. Um, and the federal judge has suggested that they fire this guy. His name is, uh, I can't remember the officer's name. We'll call him Officer Motherfucker right now, all right? Um, well, anyway... Smokescreen family, smokescreen, right? Because the issue is not that police officer. The issue is these police officers, right? That system, that sis is a system-wide sickness. And as long as we are just dealing with the little outcrops, we are missing the major point. Don't allow them to get you focusing on um, officer motherfucker right now and not really focusing on the main issue because there's police officers in every city that's doing similar shit to what that man did. Not giving the, you know what I'm saying? I mean, because I want y'all to think about this. If you have ever been accosted, arrested, um, someone is trying to stop you from doing something that you want to do. Or someone is trying to hold you still when you are terrified. Right? There is no way that you can stop moving. Right? All, you, all we was asking them to do was stay still. You know, now, but then you got a chokehold on him. And his body is going to react. Hell, when you grab somebody by their wrist, depending on what type of traumas they done had in their life, they are going to constantly react. So for these police officers to think that somebody is just going to stand still while you do what you do is ridiculous. And the next question I have is, if I'm correct, Eric Garner was selling cigarettes. 
Why was five police officers over there fucking with that man? Now, I want to look at the crime statistics of New York. And I want to look at the time and the date that Eric Garner was choked to death by this police officer. About the same time, I'm guaranteed there was more serious crimes going on in a brother selling cigarettes on the goddamn corner. This is what this is what reparations is about. It's about systematic, a deep systematic change, transformative change. Not only see, because some of y'all just thinking about the money. Well, I'm more concerned about the protections. I'm more concerned about the protections. I'm more concerned about government being, if, if we're going to have a government, government being there to knock shit out my way so that I can have opportunity or so that my children can have opportunities that were not available, that really not available to us, but definitely weren't available to our ancestors. We think they're available to us. You know why? Because many of us are living in illusions and think we got more money than we actually got. Or we're going to positively, positively think that shit into our lives. Oh, Come on now. Uh, Sister Navita's on the line. What's going on? What's going on? I'm just, uh, just tuning in and uh, listening to you talk about the, uh, the system of racism and when it comes to law enforcement. Oh, man. What, what you and um, it's a system to me, and I feel um, I feel there are no good police officers because I feel like they're all part of a system. And if I'm sitting somewhere or I'm standing somewhere and I witness a rape, a killing, and I'm standing there and I do absolutely nothing, I have participated in that crime and can be prosecuted that's right as an accomplice right to that crime right and why they stand by and these so-called good officers who don't report these officers or bring charges against these all their fellow officers they too are a part of the problem mm. so i think i don't i don't think there's a such thing in my opinion as a good cop unless they're out seeing what's going on because they all know and have seen what goes on and very few, I know there was a sister that came out, there was a sister that came out here, but she only came out against them when they came for her. Right. And she got her wake-up call, but, you know, she did come out and started to expose what was going on in that system, you know, and I'm thankful that she came out, but, you know, there's a, when, until you speak out as an officer, you to me, you're still a bad cop to you're me. You're an accomplice. So the whole system is false. Right. You're an accomplice. Right? Family. I mean, right. Yeah, huh? They're right. You know, I, so, I don't, so, um, I don't want no one, oh, man, come on, it's an isolated incident. In incident, that's what Brother Kwame say, calling it cognitive dissonance. And that's what we do. We try to, and we, and then sometimes we get to a point where we try to Ignore shit out of existence. No, no, we can't. I mean, this shit we can't ignore out of existence. Black life at this point in time, ADOS life, and where we are, we cannot ignore this shit. It's not going away. It's been around too long, and they may, <laughs> and the profits are too big. They're not gonna let that shit go without a fight. And we got to be willing to fight, brother Kwame. Say, Navita, don't forget we have police officers for equal rights. Poor. But what Navita is saying is that if you are involved and you know that this shit is going on, you are a part of the crime. I hear her. You know what I'm saying? I hear her. And, and then on top of that, having a son. Come on now. Come on now. Shit, I got a son. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. You know, and I have a son. And even in our neighborhood, just where I live at alone, my son has been pulled over. He's lost his license, and he's been pulled over. Within a year, he was pulled over 12 times, 12 times in our neighborhood. He's never had a ticket. Two tickets he's had, I think, outside, like traveling the freeway for a speeding ticket, and one was for not having no license because he had got so many tickets within this neighborhood alone, which is harassment, that 
they do that shit purposely. Just like I said, they they report these petty crimes, these small crimes, whether it be cigarette selling or tail lights out or what have you, feeding. Or they'll try to find some marijuana in your car. Whatever they try to do to boost the crime statistics in those areas. That's right. why they do that because they're instructed to boost crime statistics in that area. Hmm. Hmm. And then, of course, like where I live, and then all the property value was so low over here because of the high crime rate. Now, look, what, look, uh, all the property sold cheap. Now, the, you can't get anything over here under a quarter million dollars. And now it's all primarily a white area now. And the policing is now, I notice, is not as strong as it used to be. Hmm. Mm. And the more people whites move in, the less policing there will be, because of, and, and and they only seem to police the the black people in the area. You see them pulled over more than anybody because they're trying to clean this area up. Uh oh, cold work. Well, clean yeah, this clean area it up. up. What it mean? What it mean when they say you clean know? up? What? Well, come on now. What they talking about? They trying to they trying to make it white. Hmm. These white folks want this area back because let me tell you, if they were to police white folks like they police black folks, crime statistics will go through the roof because statistics, their statistics show they are the biggest, have the biggest numbers for drug possession, but they're the least number convicted of drug hmm. possession. Hmm. So they get out of their crimes for whatever the reason may be, whether it's a technicality or they drop it down to a different charge or what have you. But according to the court statistics, more whites go through the courthouse with the charges of drug possession than African-Americans. But African-Americans have a higher conviction of drug hmm. possession, hmm. drug crime. Hmm. Interesting. So they don't pull them over purposely because they know they're going to find. They ain't going to find just no weed when they pull them motherfuckers over. They find Percocets and, and, and Coke and and all that other shit. They done, they done got out their mama's cabinet that they wasn't prescribed to have. You know, shit like that. Mm-hmm. So, man. Man, oh, man. So, uh, I just pulled the cord out. Y'all need to let me know how it sounds. Because I got to set this up so that I could use my microphone. But now, let's do this toast because I got to get over here and get this building open. Um, we only had a couple minutes to talk. I was trying to get up earlier, but family, I was up trying to finish this newsletter. And hopefully, if I'm able to get inside some of these uh, into my room. I'm and gonna... then let me say one more thing before I hang up in case. No and you one didn't put your name on your article, news. Navita. Say what? You didn't put your name on your article. Oh, okay. I'll remember next time. Um, that the young man that was 10 years old that was convicted or was charged with um, aggravated assault for playing dog ball mm -hmm. where he hit the little white boy in the face. What? I, never heard, I didn't hear about that. I didn't hear about that. What? There was a 10-year boy, a 10-year-old black child. I forget what city and state. But he had, was playing dodgeball in school. And he hit a, one of these little white kids in the face with the dodgeball during the game. And the mother filed charges against him. And the police charged the little 10-year-old black boy with aggravated assault. Felony aggravated assault. And it's been making the news for about a week, week and a half maybe. Stop playing. And it had gained moment. No, it gained so much momentum, though. And and they, the mother was the the white mother was saying that she had told the kids before that her son has a condition and he shouldn't be hit with the dodgeball. So why the hell is he playing? I don't know. But you know, she said she was tired of it and it did injure the boy. Somebody here messed his face up or what have you. But you know, these are we're talking about ten year old children. This this is younger than my grandson, third grade. But because of the momentum it got in the press. They decided to finally, drop. finally drop the charges mm -hmm. against the ten-year-old boy. But if it wasn't for social media and bringing this to the forefront, that little boy would have had a felony charge at ten years old and on a dodgeball game. 
But my thing is, wherever these people are from, the prosecutor that was willing to take that, that's who y'all have to go after. We have to go after the prosecutors who picked this bullshit up and make a thing of it. Oh, you talking about doing? You talking about being political? Yeah, we have to go after the prosecutors. You know, the police. Because once it comes across the um, prosecutor's desk, they can decide right then and there. Hey, this is. Um, I don't want to take this case. This is ridiculous. You know, and they can drop it right then and there. But no one is like policing these people. So, you know, oh, somebody that's why is they get away with a we, lot of the shit they do. Somebody is policing them, but we sleeping at the wheel. You know what well, I'm that's why, you know, like when the brother was talking about the reparations part B, they off the ADOS wanting to have a community review board for police officers and not just uh, police officers, but cases where these prosecutors take these cases like a 10 year old and want to drag it through the court. Now, you know, they were trying to drag this through the court, but the press was made them look so bad, they dropped it. But there's so many of uh, thousands of cases like this that go unnoticed, and and every city should try to, <coughs> excuse me, get this type of review board going. And I'm hoping that that is going to be successful, as it was, I think, in Tennessee. Somewhere in Tennessee, they did it that right. we could get that here in Columbus, Ohio. Right, 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 right. Mm-hmm. All right, so family, let's do this. Let's do this because I got to fix whatever's wrong with my system right now. But, yo, we need to do our toast. That's what we gather here for. We have come together to salute the creator by whatever name you choose. Call that creator. We lift up our glass and we salute that mighty creator. And we say, Ashe. Uh, All right, Brother Kwame is on a rant. Hold on. So she's right. No arguments here on that. Consider Sean King's story on the 10-year-old boy getting criminal charge for playing dodgeball. They are sent to treatment facilities. Drop knowledge to Navita. Anonymous is, is Navita's pseudonym. I got my finger broke playing dodgeball in elementary school. I was in school the rest of the day and um, hey, kids, uh, kids get hurt. But the DM is deserving is reserving the right to prosecute the 10-year-old boy later. Wow. The case with the 10-year-old was clearly an accident. If he's that sister, he should be homeschooled or specialized setting or not on the goddamn dodgeball court. You know what I'm saying? How you play dodgeball and say, hey, but you can't hit him. That motherfucker hit me. We know dodgeball. Yeah, he had opportunity to duck and jump. You know what I'm saying? And where were the adults? Any of them been? Oh, no, nah, that's sort of like Eric Garner. All the motherfucking police officers that was there should have also received charges. Second, second, like I said, I don't want that to be a smokescreen, family, because what they'll do, they'll catch our attention with one thing. This white boy that they are talking about, because they're just talking about it right now. He, he murdered somebody cold-blooded murder right you know he's sitting around talking about that when he had beers with his friends and shit you know i took nigga death type you know what i'm saying but let me say this to you and then what i was trying to find was the uh interview with the police commissioner who says that the police's job is to protect themselves and not it I, i'm not going I, i'm gonna find it but I'm, I'm going to find it, and I'm going to stream it, and we are going to have a conversation about this because the police's job is to protect us. Point blank. Now, I don't know what shit, I don't know what shit he's smoking or what he's talking about. That's your job as a public servant, right? To put your life on the line. You know what I'm saying? But we got police officers who are concerned about what? Um, you you got supposedly a dangerous job. You knew you got a dangerous job. You wanted to do a dangerous job probably your whole life. And now that there's some danger, you want to justify fuckery or some of the fuckery do because of the danger. Now, we look at the case of Eric Garner. What danger was that police officer in? Y'all could have let him go and went and picked him up at his house. 
if it was that important. You know what I'm saying? Now I can understand if Eric Garner was 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 slashing a knife around. No, nah, he was he was slashing cigarettes around. And then we got to ask the question, why was this grown ass man selling cigarettes? And I'm not going with some of y'all probably thinking, right? But I'm going to take it right to the point that it need to be taken to. Let me go and grab your glass for you because obviously y'all not ready, right? Oh, I'm... The glass ain't over there? No, glass right here, right? Y'all not... Y'all not feeling me, right? Y'all not feeling me. Listen, listen. Eric Garner presented no danger to that dude. No danger to the system. Eric Garner was selling cigarettes because he was trying to make some money. Why was he trying to make money selling cigarettes, Brother Artem? Maybe there's no jobs. Maybe he didn't have an inheritance. Maybe he can't afford to live in New York anymore. Brother Kwame say, when in a military state, they protect the system and themselves. Uh-oh. When in a military state, don't schools have to take the medical on the students to know what are inherent dangers to the child? Yes, they do. They're, they're responsible for that. They're very responsible for that. All right, so let's go. First off, getting on to the creator by whatever name you choose to call it, creator, we lift up our glass, we salute that creator, and we say... I say, from there, family, we move to our list of ancestors. I'm going to move through this fast because I got to be over at the school. Hopefully, somebody over at the school for me. Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robert, Texas, Andy Davis, Herman Brown, C. Rosalie, Tilly, Georgia, William, Walter, Chris, Ben, Gaston, and Eileen, I'm Chris, I'm Fien, Cleveland, Geneva Brown. Margaret Ellis, Watch Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Avall Brown, Gina Gaines, Herman Brown, the second, Barbara Twigs, Watch Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon, John, Jeremiah, Tapper, John, Flora, Put Him on, Tukey, Put Him No More Experts. Uh, no more except Ma Ra, Malika Pakur, Dr. Marianne, William Kojo, Kamal, Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Elder Ajani, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alpha Brofro, Actor Jr., J. Edwards, Carlisle Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Studying Lucy Wright, Derek L. Pulley, and Alexa Brother, Ms. Edie Brooks Crawley, Ms. Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley, C. Ms. Jerry Brunson, Mr. Lonzo Johnson, Ms. Marie McDowell, Ted Foster, Charles Jordan, Kill Smith, Walt Smith, Rich Trigg, Frank Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Wood, Dan Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Chris Clark, Frankie Just, Katie Just, Derek Ritterman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend J. Smith, Lewis Henderson, Kevin Spratling, Mayor Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker, C. Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Carolyn D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dale Hodge, Mel Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Milton Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird, B.D. Sarah Weller, Vita Farmer, I go so too. Cheryl Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Evelyn D. Oles Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury C., Leonard Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Trio Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thorne, Pearl G. Thorne, Nida Johnson, Florence Jim Carter, Joanne Thornton. Eric Trissa Lost, Juan Eddie Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary Eliza Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, Mary Esther Keach Larice, Linda Watson Hammonds, Jarrell Giles Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy Seven, Lewis Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore, Jim, Percy Moore Jr., Mildred Owens, Booker T. Bowden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Silver here, the Pearson, Surgeon, Thorne, Richard Thorne, Lavinia Hall, Freeman Banks, Domain Moss, Ophelia Peacock, Willie Thorne, Napoleon Kennedy, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, Dave Ramsey, Charles E. Thorne, Frankie Quells, Jerenia Thorne, Bernie Squells, Understeen Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, S.E. Johnson, Derrida Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Barham, Dana Jones, Henry World, James Farmer, May Chavez, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Addie Levester, May Moreland, Paul Moreland, K Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martinelli, Elder, Elder Amatep Wellman, Fred Douglas Triggs Sr., Thelma Triggs, Thomas and Lula Berry, Lacey Ellen Ohio, Frank Russell and Davis, Fred Douglas Triggs, the second being the Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy May Alexander, Arthur Rhythm, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda Por Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carlos Soya, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy, D'Amico Russell, Dini Monet, Gina Ruth Jones, Jane at Callahan, William Walter West, Nigel Perez, Elder B.C.G. Fulani, Jim Robinson, Gladys Johnson, Valerie Clark, John, and Mary Sullivan, Dirk Johnson, Antonio Johnson, Delise Wallace, Defridis Hines, Inez Bostic, Edna Bostic, Winifred Scanner Bay, Wilson Haley, Elma Hines, Phyllis Lee, Eugene Spratling, Calvin Spratling, Charles Wooden, Penny Brown, Roy Lee, Print Up Jr., Miriam Johnson, Will Belongmeyer, Edith Catney, Janice Carter, Michael Carter, Leon Pena, Carter, Margaret Carter, William Carter, Lisa Jordan, Charles Lee Mosley, Dorothy R. Blair, Ransom Evans Sr., Sam Evans Sr., Nalon Blair Sr., Edward Stevens, Suan Stevens, Joe Davis, Timothy Butler, Gene Holmes, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Cardinal Robinson, 
Rosemary Charles, Ada Pearl, Bob Ingles, Jack Wallace, Warren M. Finch, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingles, Audrey Finch, William Billingsley Jr., Jennifer Sensor, Ball, Hazel Gaston, Jerry Brantley, Brian Watson Jr., Kaniko Parsons, Jason Kathy Bradford, Thomas Bradley, also known as Uncle Buki, also known as Gypsy, Reverend Roosevelt Ward, the first day's trash, Frank Smith, Mother Brother, Michael Leonard, Deb Brown, Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth Cox, Walter Cox, Ronald Irvin, Judy Hubbard, Army Johnson, Francis Boots Jefferson, Dan Wilkinson Sr., Emma McClendon, Jerry Doyle, Mina Robinson, Mary Nichols, Patricia Williams, Shabaka Ture, Greg G2 Gibson, Donna Hill, Richard Glebus, Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Boy Irby, Jim Goshe, George and Hallie Johnson, Archie and Margaret Armstead, Diane Scott, Erica Armstrong, Claire Fox, Gene Evans, Archie Beck, Anna McGill, Charles McDaniel, Christine Cottrell, um, Becca, Alice Arnold, Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed, Eula and Andrew Baker, Patricia Nedwin Brooks, Gwilin and Bob Hatch, Kim O'Brien, Bradley Kim, Jenny here, Tell me Kate, Spencer Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Creola Baker, Geneva Baker, Aaron Nino, Baby Hatch, Hatch Senior, Mally Miller, Housie Hatch, Dad Cleveland, Mother Gibson, Alex Nixon, John Bowie, Lester, Rachel Saunders, Dorita Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, Fred Stevenson, Leroy Stokes, Needy Johnson, Fletcher Swamp, Manny and Charlie Scott, Ali Casey, Thomas Corbin, Vivian Stevenson, Mona Ann Lewis, Cornetta Lyman Lewis, John Jackson, William Dallas Lewis, Mary Francis, Chappelle Jackson, Michael Slade, Joanne Perkins, Richard Jackson, Martha Ford, Dawson, Big Mama, Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, James Harris, and Margaret Town, Mary Williams, Leroy Q. Heath Senior, Albert Moore, Miss Manella, Albert Motley, Jordan Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, Ernestine Houston, Lud Oz, Elijah Oz, Jerome Oz, Henry West Staten, Joe Jamel Oz, Ann Pierce, Donald Carter, Lady Green, Nathan Green, Beth Vaughn, John Dewey, Ruth Beer, Tim Butler, Ramey, Laura Newton, J.B. Foggy, Thomas Noon Sr., Barbara Naeem, Jeanette Sanders, Jerry C. Sanders, Roy Pruitt, H.J. Brantley Sr., Henry Wilson, Rufus Jenkins, Minnie Wilson, Catherine Sanders, Muriel Ellis, Elizabeth Sanders, Henrietta Irby, Mildred Armstead, Margaret Armstead, Catherine Anthony, Ruby Brown, Charles Walker Sr., Charlie Walker, Cecil Russell, Diane Urban, Harun Phillips, William Ford, Margaret Logan, Phyllis Barnett, um, Lee Urban Sr., Michael Urban, Ozella, um, Michael Urban, Ozella Watson, Hugo Watson, John Caldwell Sr., Robbie Lee Caldwell, Nevaeh Mitchell, Ron McCormick Sr., Sabrina Easley, Rashawn Easley, uh, Javier McCormick, Barbara Ann Reed, Dorothy Ann Reed, John Reed, Shekham Aha Reed, Jr., John Reed, Jr., Patricia Reed, Edward R. Benson Sr., Ethel H. McNair, Lois Fernandez, Declan Brothers, Reginald Oliver, Mazarin Cooper, George Swan, and my name Grayson, Charles Scott, Charles A. Scott, Michael Morgan, Charlene Morgan, Sybil Edwards McNabb, Annie Ferguson, William Ferguson, Shelby McClendon. We move to the Black Book. We have Joella Giles. James Carswell, Liberta Adams, also known as Aunt Sis, Elder Shaka McNair, Anthony Brown, Jonathan Ford, Lottie Gaucher, Cousin Tony, Michael Johnson, James Jimmy Johnson, Barbara Shane Lewis, Ronald Shelton Jr., Damian Top, Westina Banks, Joseph Bingham, Quincy, Mama, Aunt Lady, Abraham, Isaac Cundum, Aunt Barbara Lewis, Renee Johnson, Joy Ryan Ross Riggins, Jamonte, Marcus Price, Ness Words, Marshawn, Marshawn McCarroll, Demetrius Beard, Herb Jefferson, Ralph Mickens, Eric Walker, Quasi Sample, Candy Simmons, Summer Clayton, Leonard Jones, Sade Garner, Melvin Scott Sr., Elder Clarence Lumpkin, Elizabeth Johnson, Frank Smith, Stacey Trice, Denise Gore, Nathaniel Hassan Turner, Khalid is in transition, Nigel Turner, Demetrius Lewis Flynn, Alberta Woods, Geneva, um, Geneva Simmons, Daniel Tilly, Angeline Gant, Sharifa, Oscar Kane, Audrey Gripper, Dominique Nichols, Ruth Elaine Johnson, Teresa Sambu, Aunt Maxine, Uncle James, Henry Monger, Tamara Dowdy, Nicole Harris, Julia Taylor, Richard Bozeman II, Ruth Carter, John Carter, Mr. Dorton, Joanna, Cassandra Lynette Lewis, Henderson Mosley, Charles Jordan, Henry Essex II, Fanny L. Webb. Here's some new additions to my family. The oldest, the farthest back we go on my grandmother's side, on my mother's side. Dan Walton, Aletta Sue Walton, James Randolph Giles. Now, Dan Walton, um, Al Aleta Sue Walton, and James Giles, James Randolph Giles, were all born um, during slavery. Emma Walton, Sonny, Pete Walton, and William Walton. I didn't go back through the whole list yet, but I will go back to the whole list, and I will be adding some more people in there. So, uh, uh, family... I've been here a long time. So we raise our glass and we say, I say, from there, family, where do we go? I'm going to tell you where we go. Let me be very clear where we're going to go. We're going to the present moment, and we want to celebrate all those Kuumba babies. We're raising the glass to the Kuumba babies. We're going to yep, clap it up. Clap it up. You deserve it. 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 So, Kuumba. 
Kaumba activate those reticular formations. Be looking for that Kaumba. Hopefully you'll find some of it over at the Comedic Festival or the Comedic, the Comedic New Year celebration over at the Millennium Community School, 3500, Refugee Road, uh, 10 p.m. to, I, I don't know, to late. Shit. Um, Kumba. For those that don't know, Kumba means creativity, right? We're seeking out creativity. Order is the modic principle of the, of the day. Orange is the color, as you can see. Um, cause and effect. Hermetic law. Male name Kwame. Female Ama. Shots out. We raise our glass to this present moment. We say Ashe. We raise our, our glass to our children, our children's children unto infinity. We say Ashe. We move on and we salute all of our relations and we say our shade from all of our relations. Family, you know where we go. Y'all know where we go. From all of our relations, we move on and we toast. This is that selfish toast. What is it that you need in this moment? Lift up our glass and we say our shade. Now here I toast the most magnificent, beautiful, uplifting, outstanding, and the most powerful individual in the room. And that's you. I lift up my glass and we say our shade. Our shade. Our shade. Family, I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years, and I am out. Peace. Mm hmm My fault. Let me check some comments real cool and real quick. Um, don't um, Ronnie. Shouts out to Ronnie Hotfield, and of course, shouts out to my aunt Georgia Ellis. Hey nephew, please put Fred Powers on the list. It has been asked and you shall receive, auntie. That is my aunt. That is the matriarch of the family on, on, the, on, the, on my father's side right now. So what Aunt Georgia asks, Aunt Georgia gets. All right, Fred Powers. Yes, yes, y'all. I'll make sure I got it. Thank you and love you, moi. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so family, I got to go because I'm running late. But I'm got to sip on some more of this ambrosia. Now, we may be seeing a movie tonight. I'm going to decide. It's going to be a old. Because uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a list of all of the public domain old black movies. There's a lot of them that we can sit down and we can have discussions about. You know, get some insight. Get some laughs. Get angry. You know what I'm saying? I had some real conversations about. So, um, um, with that, Brother Hatim is out. I'm on my way over to the school. I'm surprised my phone ain't blowing up. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking one of the warriors done, done hooked me up. Love you too as well, auntie. All right, family. This is Brother Hatim. I'm out. And I'm going to remember to turn off my camera because Gina is probably somewhere lurking. Waiting to take over. And with this new equipment, I mean this new this new technology, no doubt that she could. So family, this is Brother Hot Tim and I'm out. Peace.